All right, we've got the Mirage flatbed tilt deck right here, and we are going to mess with the little jack stand we got. Um, it's like standard, it's got your handle, and you gotta turn it a thousand times to get it to go anywhere. And then it, it has that two step there, uh, the different gears. So we have put a little thought into it. And rather than have to crank like crazy, we're gonna weld a half inch nut on the end right here. We're gonna take this apart and keep a pin in the truck so that we can put it on the handle if we ever need to. And then on the other side, it turns and we're gonna weld a socket right here for an impact as well. Let's get to it. Let's try it out. Try that out. Need a little grease. Let's take a look here. You want to stick that on? Wow, you guys, that is going to come in so handy. All right, let's go on that other side and weld a socket on in case that ever breaks off or or if for whatever reason it works better on this side flip you
brown. Right there. And got our socket right here. Looks like a 12. I'm just gonna center it right there and weld. other side. Let's see if it's centered. Still works, but it's a little, a little more challenging for those gears to turn for whatever reason. It wants to bind up. We are going to clean this up and lube them, and uh, I think that's going to help a lot. They're really dry right now. It doesn't. Struggles a little. This side though, we did that half inch, half inch nut, which is a 19 millimeter socket, or I believe a three quarter. Way better. Cool. That's the video. Um, I'll keep you guys around to lube those up. We gotta go grab one of those lube guns and uh, we'll clean it up, paint it, and show you guys lifting and mowing the trailer without the truck attached.
All right, we've ran into some isopropyl alcohol. We're gonna try and clean this uh, little jack stand up a little bit. It'll definitely help them. Good. I'm gonna try and loop these gears up a little. They're sounding like they're uh, pretty dry in there. Switch to that top one. Ooh, there you go. Well, makes a little bit of sound. It does help. Down in and see if there's that off. B. <laughs> Easy. Oh, right. I got that one. Oh, yeah. Look at that grainy mess. Oh, wow. We could actually use a little more. Let's show them. You want to grab that? Okay, here we go. This is what happens when you move from there. That's amazing. And then the lower one must do the lower set of gears. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, that's it's got some old grease on it, but it's definitely working. Alrighty, let's try it out again. It'd be amazing and then worst case if that bolt breaks off or if you don't have the 19 millimeter socket it is a little more rugged though yeah. you don't get the advantage of the bigger gear down here yeah I wonder oh okay there Not like for some reason the impact doesn't like it. Huh. There you have it. Want to have the advantage of that? Yeah, you would. Oh, right on. Good job. Cool. What's up, Carter? No, that's the camera. <laughs> All right, a drill and an impact. I'm going to try and lift it off the truck with either or. Let's try the impact first. That's why 
why we test things. That's right. <laughs> okay. Apparently not enough to eat. Let's try this side. I don't know. It seems pretty hard for it. The pin in. No, the pin's out. I. Try the job. drill, see what it does. Um, let's try this out. Just gonna put it on the lower gear and core, higher core. Okay, first gear, the drill. Let's see if it'll raise it up. Well, that did really good. It did it. Wow. It's right up. All right. I was not expecting that to break, but I'm gonna apply a little more heat on the next cycle. Right on. Cool. All right, here's the old Mirage. I have since welded on a replacement 3.8 socket. Um, for the one that ripped off in the video. <laughs> um, I want to tell you about this thing just a little bit. It works really good. It goes up and down quite fast, actually. It does put a lot of strain on the drill, so we have to keep the batteries up a little bit. And then if they're in the toolbox, it gets kind of cold in the winter. And the drills have a rough time. In first gear, they'll do it. But if you got a lot of weight on this trailer, like with the Traco bucket and all that, It'll have a little harder time lifting up. The one thing I'd caution that we ran into with uh, being an issue of this, when you got the handle here, it sits in place and it never allows this to turn when you're driving. Well, when you get rid of the handle, if you don't pull this sucker up until it like locks into place, uh, it'll come up and then the handle gets a little, like when the drill's going, it'll like bind up a little. Um, if you don't do that and you're going down like a gravel road, dirt road, this thing will rattle loose and just start lowering as you're driving. Uh, we had that issue and we had to deal with cutting this thing off and rewelding it back on. But it's fixed now and uh, everything works great. We're not going to change it. We like how it is. We just got to make sure we uh, ram it into the top and so it kind of binds a little and holds itself. So. Hope you like the video. Go get her done.